Awkward Mafia. Hello, Hello internet. internet. Welcome to another episode of Awkward Mafia Watches Watchmen. I'm Jesse. I'm Christine. I'm Alex. Today we're watching episode three. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is only one season. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Okay, good. Because that was three months ago when I said that. <laughs> it's been three months. I don't know if you can tell for the beard change. I don't know. Maybe it grew out in, <laughs> to the <laughs> same length. I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Do you remember what happened last time, anybody? Yeah. Ish. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They beat up some white supremacists. Yes, that's right. Their sheriff got murdered. Yep. And the police yeah. think it was the white supremacists. Yeah. and then The they went 7th to go, Calvary. They went to go like... And the old man was taken wait. on the helicopter. Yes, it was actually an old man who turns out to be our main character's grandfather. Yeah. And he has friends in high places, literally. Yeah. <laughs> and then I know she, like, uh, I remember she found um, a Ku Klux Klan, like, thing in her, in her chief's closet. Yes. Because he was like, oh, <laughs> there are skeletons in the closet. And then he was like, I didn't mean literally. I can't believe you actually looked in his closet. <laughs> It's a, he's like, it's an expression. <laughs> she's like, I found it. I said, whatever. So we know yeah. that, like, his her chief was, like, somehow connected to the Ku Klux Klan or maybe the 7th Calvary. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we'll watch to find out. <laughs> but first, you at home, uh, be sure to support the official release. I have it written down so I don't forget this time. I think I didn't say it the first two episodes. Uh, you can watch Watchmen, the TV series, on HBO Max. And occasionally on HBO when they throw it up. <laughs> but HBO Max is the place to go. Alright, let's watch. He's supposed to be Dr. Manhattan. And... The old man? Yeah. I think. Okay. Thank you. One moment while we connect. A lot of numbers. Orbital array. Stand by for connection to Mars antenna in five, four, three. Link complete. You are now transmitting. I've got a joke. Stop me if you've heard this one. Forget that joke. Can I, can I try <laughs> another one? Lay through the fucking drawers now! <laughs> Batman. The smoke was a weird touch. <laughs> yeah. You gotta strike fear into your enemies. Yeah. And, I mean, Batman needs smoke. <laughs> yeah. This is DC. <laughs> FBI. Because what you're doing right now, vigilanteism, it's illegal. <laughs> so it would be super smart for federal law enforcement to tip you off. Shit. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? The bank teller's like, wait, this was happening? <laughs> <laughs> no. The bank teller was not that in was on it. That today? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone seems kind of shocked that she would just shoot the guy. Well, yeah, he, I mean, he didn't no. pull out a badge though, so it's like that's he's true. The only one who wasn't in on it. I know. They killed Batman. How dare? Because <laughs> a couple bullets could kill Batman. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> How'd you know his body armor would stop the bullets? Oh, he's okay then. He's hurt, but he's, he'll live. Yeah. Hey, why are you arresting? He's a hero! Please. He's not a hero! It's a fucking joke. Hi, <laughs> you fucking pig! <laughs> she was killed by space junk. It's the brick. <laughs> Snake. She had a snake. Hmm. What's in the box? Senator Kane. Agent Blake. On behalf of the American taxpayer, thank you for keeping our streets safe from rich assholes playing <laughs> <laughs> Oh, an owl. 
Who the heck just has an owl as a pet? That's so What's cool. his name? Who? The owl. <laughs> Who? That's his name. Ask him yourself. What am I investigating? Chief of police got hung. Hanged. <laughs> you knew him? <laughs> good. good man. Why frame a Senate campaign? Folks assume the 7th Cavalry did it. But that's not what you assume. 7K always takes credit when they kill a cop, and not a peep from then on this. Crime's down 80% in Tulsa since we passed DOPA. And other cities... You called it DOPA? <laughs> the Defense of Police Act. And it's such a great acronym that other cities want to jump on board and pilot it. Atlanta, New Orleans, even goddamn Denver. Masks save lives. My reputation <laughs> From the comic. What of Watchmen? Yeah. I, okay, I've never seen the comic of Watchmen, so I don't know anything. <laughs> Apparently, it's a uh, Custer's last stand thing, but who gives a shit? They're just a clan with different masks. They first popped up after the Victims of Racial Violence Act was passed. African Americans come to Tulsa to claim the benefits, and we all know how accommodating white folks <laughs> are when people of color dare <laughs> prosper. But obviously, they missed a few. What the hell is this? Oh, it's uh, <clears throat> an excerpt from Rorschach's journal. Is it the 1980s, Petey? Then who gives a shit about Rorschach? <laughs> Next slide. You're all wheels up in two hours, so grab your stuff. No, just me. What? It's also PD's never going to cooperate if an army of suits falls from the sky. I can point all by myself. Laurie, you can't go in there alone. <sighs> Fine. I'll uh, take... He's like me. Hmm? She liked the Rorschach thing <laughs> that he put in the journal. Yeah, it's a nice touch that she recognized. Also, she knew Rorschach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got holes in it. Oh, it's not for sleeping. In the briefing, Director Farragut said, "I just thought if the police wear them, when in Rome, right?" Tell us it's not wrong. <laughs> and you're a federal agent. Not the lone fucking ranger. They finally declared him dead. But hmm, got a buddy on the Argentina desk who says Vite got plastic surgery and is now living incognito down there. You knew him, right? Back in the old days? Uh, I wrote my graduate thesis on the police strike of 77 when you and your ex were in D.C. And by ex, I mean Dr. Manhattan the most powerful being in existence. Sorry for not pretending that I don't know who you are because we're supposed to leave famous people alone. I had a PhD in history. <laughs> so, please don't treat me like I'm some kind of fan. Our hero number two is confident he can game this out because that's his God-given talent, smart. Some might even say he was the smartest man in the world. So what'd you do with that big brain I gave you, asks God. Well, as a matter of fact, I saved humanity, says Smarty Pants. Well, I dropped a giant alien squid on New York. And everybody was so afraid of it, they stopped being afraid of each other. Okay, says God. How many people did you kill? Smarty Pants smiles. Three million, give or take. She can't make an omelet without breaking a couple eggs. Christ, God says. You're a fucking monster. Am not, says Smarty Pants. God snaps his fingers. The hero goes to hell. <laughs> 